you guys uh, so I really went out of my comfort zone today I'm really happy about that it's just so fun makeup is just so fun because you could just do whatever you want there's no rules if you mess up just wipe it off I experienced that firsthand with my bronzer it was so bad I literally stopped I wiped off all of my foundation and started over doing this was really cool I have never done a cut crease before other than like <clears throat> I think it was like my last video I tr so I tried and it was okay but this is like a real cut crease where you can see where it starts and finishes like I don't know it's just so fun it was awesome it was really fun let me know what you think give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you later okay so I already did my eyebrows I'm going to just clean them up with this NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm using this little flat brush by Morphe. Okay, so I'm also gonna put that over my whole lid as an eyeshadow base. So I'm just gonna put my finger in there like that and pat it on. Okay, and for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using... Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this. When I when it first came out on the Morphe website, I was working, so I wasn't able to get it, and when I got home, it was sold out. So the second time they um, restocked it, I was able to get it. These colors are beautiful. I love them so much. The only thing that I wish is that they had a matte white color because I usually like to use that all over my lid to set my concealer or my eyeshadow base. So these two are both shimmers, which is fine. I have so many other eyeshadows to use. So, And also this is almost the same color as my skin, this color right here. So I usually just use that all over the lid anyway. That's actually what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to take this shade right here. This is a big palette. It's beautiful though. I love it. So I'm starting with my eyes today because I'm doing a pretty dramatic look. Okay, so I really want to do like a burgundy cut crease. So I'll start off with a transition. I think I'm gonna do this one right here because it's kind of more like a neutral brown. These are all, these all here have a lot of pink in it that's like completely orange. You guys. Okay, so I had to just put peanut butter on both of their bones and put them in the kennel so they would stop because they were both fighting over. They have two bones, but they still want to fight over the other bone that the other dog has. Anyways, so I want to use this shade right here. It's more of a neutral shade like I was saying before. These have a lot of pink in them and that one's a little bit too orangey yellow. So I think this one is going to be perfect. So I'm going to put it in my crease and then also wing it out this way because I'm going to do a cut crease that comes all the way out with concealer. Okay, now that I have my transition shade in, looks all blended, I'm going to go, what should I do? I think I'm going to do this one right here. That's what I'll do. So I'll do that and I'm going to put that right under the color that I just the color that I just put down. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this one right here. It's kind of like a brick red. It's really beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this one right here. It's kind of like a fiery, beautiful red so I'm gonna do the exact same thing just keep it a little bit lower and just make it a little more deeper and redder 
and yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this pencil brush and I think I'm going to use this dark purpley brown color right here to even more deepen up the crease before I do the concealer. What I'm going to do is the second color in the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just going to set the concealer with the shimmery Alright, so I'm using the Nivea Post Shade Gel as my primer and moisturizer today. Ugh. This really just helps your foundation stick to your skin, which is really nice. Okay, and so for my concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is like, I'm pretty sure this is for color correcting, it's a yellow, but I want to use it as my concealer, so. Okay, so to concept, to concept, to set my concealer, I'm going to use the Milani Prep Satin Glow Powder. So it's just a translucent powder, but it's not, the finish is very luminous, which is very nice. Alright, so for my contour, I'm going to use the LA Girl, why can't I talk today? The LA Girl Pro Conceal. Okay, so that looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrible. So exactly where I put this product, it literally took my foundation off right there. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix this. If I can't fix it, I'm literally taking all my foundation off and doing it over. Look how bad this is. It's awful. And yeah. So I have to start all over. I'll be back after I do foundation and concealer and powder, and then we'll move on from the bronzer. Okay, I'm back. So I did 
my foundation, I did my concealer and my powder. So now I'm gonna do my bronzer. Man, that was crazy and kind of disappointing because I don't know, I've seen so many other people use it and it looks beautiful. What I'm thinking is that maybe I waited too long, so I think I should have put it on and blended it out right away. So I think it just dried onto my foundation, and then when I tried to blend it, it kind of lifted my foundation with it. I'm so sorry. I use the Tarte, it's a Tarte Matte Bronzer. Okay, so I'm going to use the Carly Bible Palette, and it's by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to use the highlight in this palette. I think I'm going to use this one. Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to do everything that I did on the top with this on the bottom, just not so intense. I think that the top is already a lot, so I don't want to add a bunch on the bottom so I'll go in with this one probably this one and this one I'm using the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in bow and arrow it's kind of just like a really neutral nude which is nice you needed something that was not so intense because my eyes are pretty intense And I'll see you later. Bye. You know, this bun is literally like, I love it because it's easy. My hair could be messy, but it still looks cute. So I think it was like my last video. I tr Every time my dog sees someone outside, she like must let them know. So I tried and it was okay. We're good. No worries. Cheekbones and then I'll put a powder bronzer on top of that. You guys, what's wrong? They're just staring at me. Hey, hey, hey.